Hello everyone, so today and tomorrow night we're going to be staying at the Madison Hat Lodge here in Madison Hat, Alberta. Uh, we've stayed here quite a few times in the past and we were able to get vouchers for about, how much was it? They're $69 a night at the front of a box with these special registry. Yeah, so we, we bought four vouchers and we gave one to our my mother-in-law and one to my father-in-law for their birthdays and the last two we decided to use as just to get away from work and from our own hometown so this is the room we're staying at right now you see it's uh it's not a big room but it is we also haven't been here since november of 2019 yeah so, so it's, it's our first time staying here since covid started it's been a while so they are nice, they are cozy rooms, and they are very clean rooms. So the staff do take pride in making sure the rooms are clean. They are carpeted. They so. just could use a little bit of a facelift, but it's mainly commercial stuff like the scuffing. I see the lamps are a little older. They haven't updated to have like the HDMI ports for phone charging. USB ports, <laughs> HDMI's for TV. Anyway, it's like a, it's a little outdated. Um, it's not for the price you can't beat it. What we got it. The beds, they're very comfortable, and like I said, it's very clean. I always like the beds here. Um, like my wife said, there's no USB ports. So if you're going to come here, bring a cube to charge your phone with. It's got a little chair in the corner, picture on the wall, a nice big mirror for when you get ready in the morning. And this is also on the side of the hotel that has the balcony over the pool area. Yes. And a desk for if you're coming here for any business. A nice big TV. Most of the times we don't really use the TV till late at night because we like to go do some shopping, swimming. swimming. Uh, there's no air conditioning controllers on the wall. We actually have the old style uh, air conditioner, which is not a big deal. Uh, air conditioner slash heater. This is a balcony room, so. You can see outside the balcony there's a water slide, which is actually quite big. They do have a pool here. Uh, here, one second. Oh, and heads up, don't shut it when you go to the balcony if you're by yourself because it won't lock. Okay, they have a pool here. They used to have a hot tub, but they did cover that up. So it's a basic pool, a nice big water slide. The balcony is actually a decent size, so take care of here and relax. Shut that door because it's loud when it's open. Especially since there's kids at the pool right now. So. Yeah. So it is a big hotel. Um, and check the. Oh, I forgot they do have a small mini fridge. And when you stay Keep here, snacks, and there. guests of a hotel, everybody that's registered in the room also gets free breakfast. In the Yes, which is kind of a bonus. Um, microwave out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, coffee machine, small coffee machine. So they don't have a curate, but that's okay as well. Uh, the bathroom is kind of small and a little dark. You can see the lighting is not the best in here, but they do have... different uh, sample size, shampoos, conditioner, a 
the shower. It's actually really nice and again, really clean. So it is a little, little bathroom, but you don't really need a huge bathroom when you go to a hotel, honestly. So well, that's, that's me. Bye. Yeah, that's it. So, anything else? I guess the only thing I would say, it's still a nice hotel. I just kind of miss what it was like from my childhood. <laughs> they used to have like a games room, they used to have two hot tubs, and now like they only have one hot tub and it's been shut down for I think two years. They used to have more restaurant choices than they know, but it's still, it is a nice hotel. It just isn't quite what it used to be, I guess is what I would say. Yeah. We're still happy to be here. Yeah, for the price we paid for the vouchers, honestly. The I mean, $69 is a steal, especially that breakfast included, yeah. in my opinion. And you have water slide, a pool. And if you come during school you have to days. Have, the new thing is, we haven't stayed here, but now you since this new system, but you now have to have wristbands in the pool. You used to just use your room key, but maybe they've had issues with people coming in when they weren't supposed to run up. And now everybody that's going to be in the pool has to have a, go down to the front desk to get wristbands and like, attached to your room. Yeah. So that's not a big deal, honestly. But if you stay here during school days and in the off season, it's actually very quiet. You get a lot of time in the pool. You can relax. So. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, well, that's it. Bye guys. Bye-bye.